Our next guest is no stranger to this show or to space. Astrophysicist Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson has dedicated his life and career to learning about the cosmos and teaching it. From communicating science and the stars to the public, Tyson's breakdown of the galaxies are truly out of this world. His new book, To Infinity and Beyond, dives into the mysteries of the solar system and the limitless bounds of space, taking readers on a journey to learning not only the Earth's atmosphere, but the galaxies far outside our reach. And joining us now is none other than Mr. Tyson himself. Hello. Great to have Thanks you here, Thanks for having Neil. me back. Thanks of for your course, interest. Of course, always yeah. a pleasure. You know, the universe always calls to everyone, so I, I, I it must have called you. to you. It summoned, yes. <laughs> it summoned and me you answered. We from the ether. That. I was delighted. You know, for us ordinary Earthlings, uh, the amount that we know about space is really often limited, really, to what we see in Hollywood. Yeah. How do you feel that those depictions often miss the mark? So, uh, good that you ask that, because this this treatise, uh, treatise that overstates it, this is an, an account of humans' attempt to, you're here on Earth, and you say, well, how would you ever reach the moon mm -hmm. if you didn't have science? This, this is like a completely out of reach concept. And then you say, well, okay, we're now we're in space. How do, we, how do we go farther? How would you visit the stars? How would you visit the galaxies? Either physically or intellectually. There's a wormhole there. We saw an image of one. That'd be good if we had wormholes. We don't. So as we go on this journey of the mind and body, uh, the DNA of this book tracks from my podcast, which is called Star Talk, which is the mixture of science, pop culture, and humor. And what we find is that when we deliver science that way, people come back for more. Mm. So as you learn this journey of how we ascended from Earth to reach the stars, there are movies that also touch those themes. So we take a, a, a quick, it's not so much an off-ramp, but it's the scenery that passes you where you learn about how movies get some stuff right and other movies get it wrong. And that's the pop culture dimension of this book. And, and you have a lot of cultural references, photos, art. Oh, yes. Uh, the book was produced by, by National Geographic. So you know it, it's a beautiful book. You have lots of books about space. How is this one different? This one's different because typically you, you, you talk about discoveries. These are great visuals you got here. But it's the Crab Nebula. I love it. How would you visit other stars? If I put you on a ship, you'll get there 50,000 years from now. So the ideas of a generational ship, uh, is that a realistic thing? I think it's sort of uh, philosophically, uh, uh, you, you're committing future generations of unborn to the mission that you started. And in a free country, that doesn't sound right to me. But that's the only way we can imagine visiting, all right? Maybe there's, we'll figure out a wormhole or something in the future. So we tracked this. And plus, I get on the case. Uh, when we talk about matter and what we do with it. So you and Lindsay Nix Walker go on this journey together. Yes, so, so she is a longtime senior producer of Star Talk. Mm. And so this is a Star Talk collaboration with National Geographic Books. I do want to get in really quickly because a lot of people are talking about artificial intelligence. What does artificial intelligence mean for the future galactic frontier? Oh, well, we've been, I've been, my field, has been using AI as soon as it became available. There's neural nets to help you make decisions, it can make some more creative decisions than you can with vast amounts of data. But, and by the way, it's not just unique to my field. AI is everywhere. So if people, when ChatGPT came out and it could write your term paper, people lost their minds over that. And I'm thinking, okay, it finally can write your term paper, but it has been doing my work all, <laughs> ever since we could have it. And it beat us at Go, at Jeopardy, at, at Jeopardy's ABC product. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, at Go, Jeopardy, and, and Chess. And no one lost their minds from that. We were very impressed it with it. It wasn't until we had to write, we no longer had to write our own papers. Then somehow, that now you're worried about it? Okay. So who wrote yeah. this book? That's my oh. question. But we're, we're no, out of Chat, time. Chat GPT can't write on, on content that it has that, not that, been, that has not been put on the internet. And this, this is stuff on there that we put in there. Neil? We always enjoy talking to you. I've only, I think I only got through like, you know, a, a fraction of my questions. Oh, before. yeah, no, the universe can, is vast. You can yeah. find all the answers to your own questions in his book, To Infinity and Beyond. It is now available wherever books are sold. Thank you, Thank, Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.